What's up guys? Welcome back to All Wings Everything. I am your cook Spinelli. I am the self-proclaimed wing king and the prince and ruler of all lemon pepper wings. Now, if you meet somebody that tells you they make better lemon pepper wings than me, do one thing for me. Close your eyes and just go to sleep on them because it's not worth listening to it. Click that link above me and I'm going to show you how to make the best lemon pepper wings on the planet. Now, we're still in this quarantine phase, guys, so I'm looking a little scruffy around my head and around my face, so forgive my appearance. But well, let me tell you something. The appearance of these wings are going to make up for it. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make buffalo lemon pepper wings. Now, this is really one of my favorite favorite flavors of wings i remember having this a long years ago and i tell you it's one of my favorite flavors and basically what they do is they take the buffalo um style version and add, <clears throat> and add lemon pepper and it just gives it a very very unique flavor but the way i do it is a tad bit different I use my buffalo style recipe along with my lemon pepper style recipe and I just marry those two together guys and it comes out to be absolutely delicious. So I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine so let's go. Alright guys, so here are the ingredients we're going to use for today's recipe. We have our Publix Green Wise Chicken. We're going to use two lemons, some butter, some um, lemon pepper seasoning. Of course, this is the star of the show. Some black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, seasoned salt, and some already made wing sauce. Now I know you guys heard me say that I don't usually use ready made wing sauce, and I really don't. But this is a quick and easy recipe I want you guys to um, to do. They want to get into all the different ingredients to make your buffalo sauce, but again, you're welcome to it. So, but I decided to go ahead since to make it um, to make it quick for you to get some ready-made buffalo sauce. The star of the show is really the lemon pepper combined with the buffalo sauce. So, you know, it really doesn't matter if you make your own or have some ready-made buffalo sauce. You know, it's still going to pretty much be the same. So let's go ahead and use what we got. And I'll see you guys when I get these things all measured out. All right. So now I've cut and cleaned our chicken. And so what the first thing we're going to do is uh, marinate our chicken pieces. Uh, at least I do. Whenever I make uh, anything lemon pepper, what I do is I marinate it in lemon juice first for a couple of hours or either overnight. So what I'm going to do now is I have a, um, a lemon, uh, the juice of a, a lemon and a half here. I'm just going to put it here. That, and I have about one tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning. And I'm just going to put this here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and seal that up, take the air out. And we're just going to move those chicken pieces around inside here. All right, guys. So this is, I'm going to let this sit in the refrigerator for about, about two hours. You could do it longer, but I'm going to do it about at least an hour to two hours. And once we finish with that, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So now I've um, pulled out our chicken pieces. Uh, out of the refrigerator they've been marinating for about two hours now so what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to start seasoning these bad babies up and what we're going to do it with is we're going to do it with the uh, half a teaspoon of black pepper half a teaspoon of seasoned salt half a teaspoon of garlic powder half a teaspoon of onion powder And we're gonna use some more, another tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning. Guys, you know I like that lemon pepper flavor, so I'm gonna always add some of that additional lemon pepper seasoning over it. Give it a good mix here. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is prepare our uh, oil. 
because we are going to fry these. We're going to prepare the oil and we're going to drop them in in just a bit. All right, let's move on. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to prepare our um, buffalo lemon pepper sauce. So what we're going to do is melt about a tablespoon and a half of butter. And I have here, I have a half a cup of Frank's hot sauce. Buffalo sauce, not hot sauce. So this buffalo sauce is already made or prepared. And again, I'm adding another tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning. And we're gonna give this a good mix. So now our butter is melting. All right, we're gonna let it melt and let it cook for about one to two minutes. Not too long since it's already prepared. We just wanna get the uh, ingredients combined. So um, it's not gonna cook that long. All right, so it looks like it's fully mixed. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove it from the heat and we're going to add it to a bowl and reserve them until the, um, the wings are done. your buffalo lemon pepper sauce. This is some good stuff guys, I'm telling you, really good stuff. Very simple, easy recipe. You can make it very quick. Like I say, just get you some already prepared buffalo sauce and then just follow the, uh, the instructions I gave and then man, you'll be on point. All right, let's move on. All right guys, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to before the, the oil gets hot, I'm going to put some of this lemon, these fresh lemons in here. So I have a lemon and I'm just going to let it sit in there to kind of get that, that lemon infused um, oil. This is just going to bring out some additional flavor. So you want to let that sit in there for about, you know, about a minute or two. Kind of let it get that lemon infused oil in it. We'll get that lemon infused in the oil. And then once you do that, you're going to drop your chicken in it. So. Alright guys, you see that? Alright, so I'm going to pull those out in about 30 seconds. And I'm going to set them to the side. And then we're going to drop all the chicken pieces in. Alright, so we're going to take these things out. Should have that that oil infused, that lemon infused in that oil. All right, so now I've put my chicken into my fryer um, basket. Now I've placed all my chicken inside this basket. Um, it should be okay. I really don't like to overcrowd like this, but I really don't like to cook my chicken in batches. I need to get me a new fryer, a well bigger fryer. I don't know. I just like once my chicken is done, I like to go ahead and add the sauce and start, you know, start eating it. I don't like to have to, you know, reserve the chicken to the side to the second batch get done. So, however, so I've uh, these were like smaller pieces, so I was able to get them in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop them in. I have it preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to let it cook for about seven to ten minutes. So let's go ahead and drop these in here. And what I'm going to do once I let them sit in there for about a minute, then what I'm going to do is, you know, kind of get a basket of shape because actually your chicken uh, shrinks as it's frying, as it's cooking. So it's going, they're going to shrink and it's going to create a little bit more space in there. So um, that's why I was okay with putting some extra pieces in there. See, that? See how um, we create a little bit more room in here? So this is this looks pretty good. This is okay. I'm gonna drop them back down and let them finish cooking. They may have cooked a little bit longer than you know eight eight to ten minutes just because this I put a lot in the basket. But you know we'll just eyeball it. We all we all we all know that um, once your chicken starts to float to the top, that pretty much it's pretty much done at that point. So we'll just keep eyeballing it. Alright guys, take a look at that. 
Looks like I have them in there about 11 minutes because I had so many in there. But we'll take a look at that coat. Look at that. Looks delicious. All right, so what I'm going to do now is we're going to transfer these into a bowl and go ahead and get this buffalo lemon pepper sauce all over these wings. See you in a bit. All right, so now they're in the bowl. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this uh, buffalo lemon pepper sauce. Now what I did too, guys, was I added a little bit of lemon juice to this just to give it that more, some additional lemon flavor. Cause again, we want the lemon pepper, the lemon flavor in these. So I'm just gonna put all this over here. I don't want my wings too wet. So that's why I didn't make a lot of sauce. You don't, you never want your, especially the buffalo sauce to overpower um, the taste of the chicken. It just, I typically don't like that. I don't like when people make buffalo sauce and it's real thick. Same thing goes with barbecue sauce. When people put a, a heavy coat of barbecue sauce on it, I, I really don't like that. So we're gonna just gonna do a little shit. Look at that light coating of buffalo sauce on it. So what I'm gonna do now to make it even better, guess what? I'm gonna add more lemon pepper seasoning. Start off with a half a tablespoon. And then we just gonna give it a little bit more shape, a little bit more. Now we're gonna transfer this over to a clean plate and finish off this recipe. All right, so let's go ahead and start putting this on a clean plate. Guys, this smells delicious and good. Take a look at this. Look at that, wow. All right, let's move on. And there you have it, guys. Buffalo lemon pepper wings. No words to describe this. I've already used every adjective I could think of to describe these wings. Take a look at that. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to decide. You can add some additional uh, lemon pepper seasoning. Sprinkle a little bit of additional lemon pepper seasoning over the top once you get it all together and plate it up. That's what I did, just some addition, not too much, just to give it a little uh, additional flavor. I've put all the measurements in the video description below. Also, I have the all the ingredients in the video description below. So you can also check those ingredients out on Amazon. If you don't have them at your house, you can always buy them from that link. Also, don't forget to go and shop at the All Wings Everything um, Teespring store. Also, check out my Amazon store. I have a lot of different kitchen items and gadgets you guys can purchase from my Amazon store. And again, Thank you for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Like the video, it helps with the algorithm. This your cook, Spinelli, all wings, everything, and I am out. Peace.